What is going on, folks? Adam Dufrad here, back in the game again. Uh, today, uh, I've been waiting so long for this. We're going to unbox and check out the Olight Seeker 2 Pro. Oh, yeah. Um, I've used a, quite a few Nebo lights um, before my venture into the Phoenix Olight Surefire. Um, streamlight, that kind of thing. Um, and I wasn't trying to knock them or anything like that. For the price, they always did pretty good and everything else. But uh, I think we're going to step up in the world today with the Olight. I always rock the i3T, um, the little guy, um, like right on my, my belt or whatnot. Um, but yeah, this is going to be some next level kind of stuff, I think. So let's check it out and see what's up. Congrats on your new Olight Seeker 2 Pro. Unscrew tail cap and remove insulating film. Charge it fully before you turn it on. Two ways you can charge it. Uh, with the magnetic cable. Or with the L-Dock, which uh, I believe it's the Pro that comes with that. Whereas just a Seeker 2, I want to say, doesn't come with the magnetic dock. It's just got the little cable that's uh, magnetized to the bottom, so anyway. Oh geez, it even comes in the case. Holy jeebus. Look at that bad boy. That thing's ridiculous. Got a bit of a crenulated bezel there. Kind of like a trim ring, but it also looks like it'd be, uh, be pretty rugged. Especially for drop protection as well. Holy, that's nice. It's nice, heavy. Feels solid. It's got that silicone, um, like, integrated there. Um, for where it's got like little finger grooves So it kind of feels like for me at least the index finger would kind of sit on this grip like at the at the tail cap there And then other three fingers would sit right in the in the silicone um, Of course you could hold it a multitude of different ways because it doesn't have the you know the tail switch It does have a side switch, so it's a little bit maybe meant for a bit smaller hands, but uh, <laughs> I don't care it's nice, uh, looks awesome, solid. Um, it's got the LED indicators here for the battery level and then the indicators of what brightness you're at. Um, I don't want to mess with it until it is fully charged as per manufacturer's directions. So we'll wait for that. Um, I'll unbox everything and then of course we'll get it charged up and uh, give a couple demos and give you an idea and uh, do a review there on it. But yeah, like... I don't know if that'll focus okay for you or not, but there's three massive LEDs there, and uh, the build quality and everything, just to look at it, feel it, all that good stuff, seems seems really, really super. Hmm, pretty cool. It's a nice case. It's like uh, almost like fully flocked, or uh, I don't know what you want to call it. It's got that uh, super soft, like a scratch-proof, um, or let's say scratch-protective, uh, interior there so that as you you know go in and out of the case it's not going to scratch or damage anything um, that's a super nice case it's got this little kind of strap over the button so you have to push right down in before you can release it um, it can be hung off something like tethered to something here and then it's got this snap um, so like a belt type carry um, or you could even put a belt through the back of the case like that um, it's got a almost appears to be like a drain hole 
I don't really know what other reason there'd be uh, like a grommet style um, cap or hole in the bottom there but like geez this thing is cool like it just seems really nice seems like a lot of attention to detail feels solid um, and it's not outrageously uh, big like that's a pretty simple nice thing to be able to carry um, you know that's got some serious power and not be burning out your uh, you know your cell phone battery trying to use it as a light um, or anything else like this thing's going to be more powerful than this mad LED mag light I've had for many years you know it's a great baton but I mean this is cool for sure now we'll keep digging in it appears uh, by the picture that there's a cleaning cloth a cable and something I don't know right there A little microfiber cleaning cloth, an O-light cloth. You can clean your flashlight, smartphone, glasses, magnifying glass, all this stuff. Features of the cloth itself on the back. Like how ridiculous is that? It's like, I'm not going to open that probably. <laughs> That's cool. Alright, what else has this uh, got to offer? This is the little square thing. I think I didn't know what it was. Oh, I think maybe it's just little, um, like it's got the 3M sticky back. I think they're cable keepers. Um, maybe if you're using the wall bracket or something like that, and you want to run the cable from the bracket to your outlet or to wherever it's being plugged in. I think it's just like little cable keepers. I'll have to look it up uh, and be sure. But they open and close and clip in, so I'm almost sure that's what those little guys are. Look at that, like little silicone wrap over it and everything. Like, this is ridiculous. Yep, there's the uh, magnetic base there. So if you're not aware, um, a lot of lights that have non-removable batteries, uh, or batteries you're not supposed to take out uh, particularly, will either have like a little screw thing or a door or something where you plug the LE, or excuse me, the uh, USB cable right into it, Whereas this guy, just boom, magnet right to it. So whether this is being used with the bracket, which I'll get to in a moment or not, if this is just hanging around somewhere, slap it right on the back just like that. Um, and then if you're working on something with a you know ferrous uh, material in it, then you can you know have it held right there. Something when you're working on a vehicle or you know whatever you're around near some metal. Um, that's a super feature that, you know, not a lot of lights, um, have some of course do, but you just slap that against something while you're working and beautiful thing. That is, uh, I think it's very innovative. Of course, it's not the first time a device has a charging cable like that or anything, but I mean, how just nice and clean is that to charge your light? Uh, and that's not even with the bracket or anything. So I think that's just super, um, it's actually got a magnet on the other side too um, because this box has got the magnetic flap I just noticed um, this will be able to be placed against something too um, so that's kind of interesting it's got a nice flat cable uh, here so super clean too just all the little details are are all there so far um, quite uh, quite neat kind of nerding out on the light here pretty hard this is cool Okay, so there's a manual here in the very bottom. We'll get into that a little bit more. There's quite a bit of different modes and everything that you can access, and it's all just one button. So double click this, triple click that, long hold this, or what have you. So I'll figure out what that is, and I'll show you once we're fully charged. And then this, I believe, uh, if I'm not mistaken, is the Pro uh, version, whereas the Seeker 2 if I understand correctly, probably comes with just that and not this. Um, I assume it would come with the holster. Like, Anyways, I opted for the Pro. I'm going to keep uh, the dock right beside the door and then you can grab that, look around, uh, especially during uh, coyote season when you got some little dogs running around and whatnot. Yeah, so that's pretty much that. It comes with a couple little wall anchors, little drywall plugs couple screws and a little 3M sticky pad tells you how to mount it or whatnot here 
and uh, you can see that it's got the same uh, base, if you will, um, as the charging cord, but the charging cord will come up here and it will allow its power and ground to connect through so that you've got that bracket there. So ultimately this would be sitting there plugged into your USB port and this guy could be docked right to it while that bracket is um, mounted right on the wall. So this is by your door or wherever you might conveniently like your light. Boom, charging and whenever you're ready to roll, off you go. So how, how sick is this? Like, it's just awesome. I'm uh, pretty excited to get this bad boy charged up and see what it's all about. Yeah. Okay, so Seeker 2 Pro Olight, been using it three to four months. Spectacular light, not a cheap light, but don't let it scare you um, when you're comparing a $30 light to something like this. Uh, it's tremendous. I can't say enough about it. It's my favorite light right now that I've got. Uh, the form factor for the output, awesome. And really comparing it to the output of other lights in similar price ranges. Um, the build quality, ruggedness, we've thrown it around a little bit, not necessarily uh, intentionally. It's held up to everything. We use it every single day. Um, well, night that is. And it's just, it's spectacular. It's a great light. So highly recommend that one. And just wanted to give you a follow up after a number of months of using it. And it's sweet. Thanks a lot. Take care.